Hi everyone, my name is Aditya and today I am going to make an AM radio using the electronic snap circuit kit. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click that subscribe button and click on the bell notification to get future notifications. So let's get started making this electronic snap circuit kit. So before starting this video, this is the electronic snap circuit kit that I was telling about. So in this kit you can learn all about electronics and you can build over 300 exciting projects and in this kit they provide you two books according to which you can make the 300 projects so today I'm going to make an AM radio so the product link is in the description of this video and you can see that uh, we get two books for this kit so one book is experience 12101 and another is 102 to 305 so we are going to take this book which is 10 2 to 305 and the project is, so I'm going to back, go to the back to project 289 so this AM radio I'm going to be making today so electronic snap circuit is basically a kit in which you can make different electronic projects without knowing coding so let's get started with this kit and if you want to buy this kit you can buy it from the description of this so this is how the AM radio project is going to look like and this is a speaker, few resistors and this is the A1 antenna coil. So let's get started making this project. So these are all the things required to make this project. These are called the snap wires. So you need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 nine two snap wires and three one snap wires and a speaker and this a1 which is written it's an antenna which can receive signals and these four seven three 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 snap wires of three so you can see there's three written over here so all of these parts are labeled so you need three of them and you need a snap wire 11 and you need a snap wire 4 so only one is required for both you need U5 and 3 R5, R4 and R3 resistors these are the 3 resistors this is a variable capacitor which is a CV and you need U4 which is a power amplifier so this is called as U4 and this is a 3 volt battery holder then you would require so these 3 which is C2, C3 and C1 are capacitors and this is S1 it's an on off switch so this is called as the grid onto which we are going to construct our AM radio 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and similarly on this side as well A, B, C, D E F G So what we have to going to do is according to the manual over here project 289 you can see here also the grid is given A B C D 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and A B C D E F G So similarly we have to construct so first we need to take the B1 and B2 and connect it with the switch. So B1 is 10th one. Then you have to connect the switch. Then again B1. Then two speaker U4 amplifier resistor and these are capacitors. And this is a variable capacitor. Uh, with the help of the variable capacitor you can tune the AM radio to decide station so let's get started with building this kit so first what I've done I've placed B1 on this grid this is the tenth second one and parallel to that place this B1 as well so this which is called as a slide switch could be placed on top of both of these B1 so this is basically a switch turn on off and on the circuit then we need a 3 
so this we just written as 3 on top of it what do you need to do this is the battery and you need just need to place it on top and you can see you can also twist it like that then you need to take the U4 amplifier IC which could amplify the sound waves this is a power amplifier now we are connected back this to the battery to the power amplifier now what do we do we need to take this two and just place it on top over here facing there take another two place it on top so these which are there are just wires but it's simpler to fix so these are called as snap wires and all these parts you get it with the kit then you need a R4 which is 10k resistor this is the R4 and here you can see a resistor just place it on top over here then what you have to do you have to take three which is this component this wire place it on top and attach the R4 resistor on top of it then we need to take another two place it on top over here then you need to take an R5 resistor so this is a 100k resistor and place it over here before placing the R5 resistor don't just directly go and place it what you have to do you have to take the 4 snap circuit wire which is this 4 snap circuit wire so this is the 3 snap circuit 2 snap circuit so I told you and place it on the grid line 1 as shown in the booklet then what if you do you have to place the R5 so what I've basically done over here this is the actually this is the resistor R4 and underneath I have placed the 2 snap wire and above the two snap wire the resistor will come and above it the three snap wire will come so the resistor is sandwiched between these two snap wires now what do you need to do you need to take the R5 which is 100k resistor and place it on top over here that all are connected now so now over here three is there this is the three snap wire so underneath the 3 you need to put the C3 capacitor like this so once the C3 capacitor is placed you need to do the 2 snap wire which is this and place it on top of the C3 the capacitor on top of the 2 snap wire place the 3 snap wire then what we have to do we need to take the U5 high free quick amplifier so this is the U5 so what this U5 does is that it detects and amplify the AM radio waves so that's the job of the U5 now what we are going to do is place it over here so that the two snap wire could go on top of it now just connect the two on top of it so that's fixed now on top of the 2, you need to place the C2 MP2 capacitor 0.1 US So I'm just going to place it on top of this and place it over there Then you need to take another 2, place it over here Now you can see near to the battery we need to do more connections so I'm going to take the 7 which is a big snap wire you can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 volts and I'm just going to slide these two 
to that side and place the 7 on the F grid line so I hope you can see the letter F over here so this is on the F grid line then over here what we are going to do we are going to take our speaker which is this and place it on top so as you can see over here there are some more connections we have to do so we have to take the 3 snap circuit and place it on top over here so it's the 3, three snap wire and I am going to place it over there so we will hear a click once it's properly placed and you will take a 2 snap wire which is this and you will place it on top of the speaker to connect the circuit now you can see when I place the C2 you can see there is a little gap over here in the circuit so this cannot be connected so to fill this gap I am going to take a 1 which is a small tiny wire it's called a 1 snap wire this tiny snap wire and place it on top over there now I am going to take the 2 snap wire and connect it on the 7 so this is the A1 which is called as the antenna coil which receives a signal so over here inside this coil if you carefully see you can see there is a brown copper wire I just show. so you can see that brown color copper wire so what this copper wire does is that it receives a signal and transfers it to the U4 power amplifier to the variable capacitor which is this which you can turn to set it to the desirable station so this is a knob which you can test and you can change your desirable station so I am just going to put the antenna coil on top of the power the U5 which is the high free quick and the CV I am going to put it on top over here and make sure the arrow is pointed this way when you place it on top now since I place it on top of the U5 I am going to take the C1 which is again a capacitor and place it on top over here so when I just place it on top of here again you can see that there is a small gap so I am going to place the one snaps wire on top of it to fill that so now what you have to do we have to take again two because there are some wiring missing on this side and place it on top over here and again another two place it on top of this and this is an R3 which is a resistor it's written 5.1k on this side just going to place it underneath over here connect it to the 7 and as you can see I need to fill a small gap so I'm just going to take the 1 and place it on top of the R5 so now that the R5 is connected you can take the 2 and place it on top of the R5 now before putting on the batteries and checking you need to check that the wiring is done or not because otherwise it will cause problems in the circuit so now what I've done I've placed the batteries inside the B1 I'm just going to turn on the switch and you could clearly hear the news coming out of the radio so how the system is working is that when you close the swipe slide switch S1 I'm just going to turn off to show you how this works the slide switch uh, S1 the integrated circuit U5 so this is called as integrated U5 should detect and amplify the AM radio waves the signal is then amplified using the power amplifier U4 the signal gets then amplified 
power amplifier U for which drives the speaker so then it drives the speaker tune the variable capacitor CV to the desirable station so this is the CV so you can turn this so hope you liked my AM radio project to see more videos like this please subscribe my channel and if you like this video please give this video a like and share this video the buy link of this kit is given in the description of this video and if you want to watch more fun and interesting projects like this one please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get regular notifications so thanks for watching